Hi everyone, this is an update on my interferon treatments. I made it through week 32. Uh, this is September 16th, 2010. This past week, um, I had not too much problems with the aches and pains on the side effects from the interferon. I um, actually been noticing in the beginning of treatment, I had this weird feeling in my head um, like a sizzling kind of tingly feel in my head not so much dizziness but uh, just a weird feeling in my head and um, this past week it had come back because after in the beginning I had experienced it and it went away so now it, it, it came back um, I get these pains up the back of my neck um, which I've read that that's part of the side effect as well now there's really not much I do about it other than just relax um, try to just take deep breaths <clears throat> and you know just lay in the bed and, and uh, until it goes away and then I'm, I'm okay so hopefully that goes away um, I did speak with a gentleman that had went through this treatment and that's been off of it about a year now and he explained to me that he literally lost his mind um, and unfortunately lost his immediate family um, you know and, and I, I'm so sorry about that I think when we go into this treatment we need especially if we are married to take our loved one with us you know to the doctor's office and so this way the doctor can explain to both of us at the same time what to expect you know in the possibilities because it is a rough treatment um, and I think it's all how you handle it yourself um, so far my marriage doesn't seem to be uh, diminishing at all due to the fact that you know my wife is there for me each and every day she supports me and loves me with all she can um, I think it's important that we that both parties are there so they can understand all of this what what we're going through because a lot of people don't understand um, you know I, I guess that uh, my next message to you would be you know there are vaccines for hepatitis A and hepatitis B out there I highly recommend or highly suggest for you to go out and get that just to be safe uh, don't worry about all the horrific uh, stories that you hear about side effects from vaccines because personally me I didn't even realize I even had it I, I couldn't even tell I, I got the vaccines now two there is no vaccine for hepatitis C which I have the chronic hepatitis C um, liver disease and there's there was no vaccine there still is no vaccine today uh, there are some preventions that you can uh, do to protect yourself uh, please do some research and study up on how to protect yourself you know we as people should spread the word that hepatitis C is an epidemic I mean there's hundreds of thousands of people dying each year actually from uh, hepatitis C related uh, causes and actually there are more people dying from hepatitis C related um, incidences uh, more than uh, HIV um, so you know not knocking HIV but I will tell you that more people are putting research into HIV and less people are dying um, hepatitis C the government actually is taking away their the uh, research money uh, there's not enough of us who donates or contributes to the uh, hepatitis C research um, I would hope that uh, we all write our congressmen and talk to whoever we know to try and get uh, this sped up uh, try and get a vaccine for hepatitis C in the meantime you know love a person who has them because it is a it's a slowly but surely death I mean it will kill us and uh, again if you just read do your research you'll see that there's hundreds of thousands of people dying just here in the United States each year I mean this is not mentioning all across the world there's lots of people infected with this um, but the good thing about it is 
that there is a treatment, you know, and that's the interferon treatment. Um, I uh, will be doing, uh, let's see, after tomorrow night, I will have 15 more to go, and that's a blessing because, trust me, when you look up and say, oh my goodness, I have 48 weeks to go, you know, um, actually, now I'm looking at 15 more weeks after tomorrow night. So that's great. Anyway, uh, again, please be vaccinated for A and B and protect yourself from C and uh, support um, hepatitis C patients. Um, you know, try to uh, get your local government to do something about <clears throat> speeding up uh, the process, uh, helping people with the, uh, the treatment as well. I'm sure there's more and more research needs to be done about this, but uh, there are things that we can do today to help out. Um, I think that's all I have to say this week, so I just want to thank everyone for all your support and your love. Um, you know, I appreciate all the positive feedback. I appreciate all my uh, new friends that I meet each and every day on the Internet. Uh, it gets me through. Uh, just keep, keep positive. Uh, keep God in your heart or whoever your higher power is, and um, have a great weekend. Uh, I love you all, and hopefully next week I'll be able to give another update on my interferon treatment. Um, one, one last other thing I, I can mention real quick is I have lost more hair. Um, I wake up in the morning and I see more hair on my pillow, and that's a little depressing, but, you know, that's part of the side effect. That's a small price to pay, right? <laughs> so anyway, I love you all. Have a wonderful weekend. And uh, I'll talk to you next Thursday, God willing. And say no to drugs and alcohol. Bye-bye. <laughs>